Joining me now for reaction to what the president said in the Rolling Stone magazine is Jane Hampshire. She's the founder of FireDogLake.com, a leading blog for progressive activists. Jane, it's good to see you again. Thanks, Tamron. Good to be here. Absolutely. Are you ready to buck up? Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm not quite sure who the president is talking about, uh, and nobody seems to be asking him that question, who specifically do you mean? But for us, we raised $22,000 for Russ Feingold yesterday and are fighting hard to help him get reelected in Wisconsin. So, you know, I, I think that there are things that people are doing. But the thing that people want from President Obama is to inspire the 2008 surge voters who came out for him. And for him to be at this point not only making himself a story, but telling these people that they weren't serious in the first place doesn't seem seem like any kind of political wisdom that any Democratic consultant or member of Congress running right now. Well, in now, his comments, he says helpful. if they want to now take their ball and go home, that that tells them that they weren't serious in the first place. I, I assume that he means, you know, you've got to be in it for the long run. Things don't happen overnight. It's not broken overnight. If you saw it as being broken and it can't be fixed overnight. Are you impatient? Are, are some of the liberals impatient, Jane? I don't think that, I think that's a straw man argument. If you're specifically referring to people who are unhappy with what's happened with gay rights or what's happened with civil liberties, mm -hmm. uh, those people are concerned with things that the president has affirmatively done. Uh, you know, and that isn't, ha doesn't have anything to do with things not happening fast enough. That has to do with, you know, the fact that he has done things. He's actually taken actions that are very much against what he says he believes in. But I think the greater question is, what is the president doing making himself the story this far, this close? He is the story, isn't he? He is the leader of the party. He, he well, is he, the story. He he shouldn't, well, the, the people who should be the story right now, if he's concerned about getting them reelected, are the members of Congress who have acted heroically and supported his legislation, like the health care bill, uh, you know, that many people, such as myself, did not want passed at the risk of their seats. Why isn't he talking about these people? Everybody knows that you don't get people to vote by hectoring and lecturing them, and the president knows that, too. You get the people to vote by inspiring them. That's what he did when his own election was up for grabs. Now that he is in this position, I think he is more concerned with laying off the blame for any potential losses in November on liberal critics rather than actually getting people out to vote because the action he is taking is not conducive to actually getting more people to the polls. Jane Hampshire with FireDogLate.com. Thank you very much.